This card is insane. What? Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I've got a box from Japan! Box from Japan inside this bubble wrap. I have no idea what it looks like. I do know that it is a special anniversary box inside here. I don't know what the art is. I don't know what the reprints are. I don't know what the cards are at all, but this is it. This is the reveal, and this is how Bandai is doing it. So if you guys don't know about special anniversary boxes, special anniversary boxes are one of the most gorgeous things that comes out in the Dragon Ball Super Card game once a year. Once a year, they release these beautiful boxes that you can keep your deck boxes and cards in. They have absolutely gorgeous gorgeous art on them. They're printed in foil. They look so good. They're great for storage, but the special anniversary boxes are just amazing. And it's not just the boxes themselves that are amazing. It's what comes inside the box. We get beautiful reprints, full art reprints that come in parallel foil and non-foil. And we get a whole new expansion set that usually comes with an archetype. Sometimes there'll be a leader. Last year was Agents of Destruction. We have no idea what it's going to be this year. I am going to be seeing this for the first time and sharing it with you guys as I reveal it. And I am so Super excited for this premium premiere special anniversary trip up. Trip up. First and foremost, I want to give a very special thank you to Bandai. Bandai, thank you for honoring me with this opportunity to share this with the community. You know how much I love this game. You know how much I love looking at this game. And when I see something shiny, I can't help but hurt, keep my eyes from exploding and watering out of the edges. And to everybody that comes and watches these stripums, thank you, Joe Crew, for coming by and supporting these stripums. I do owe you guys a huge thanks for continuing to support the content that I make. And if this is your guys' first time here and you want to see stripums and deck profiles and Dragon Ball Super Card Game Good make sure to smush that subscription button and we will have great content on a weekly basis but let's get into this special anniversary box from japan all right so this is it here this is the bubble wrap i don't know what's inside here but i want to know so i'm gonna take my special dragon's knife and slice them delicately because i have no idea what this looks like but I am going to slice this open and then I'm gonna lift it up on the other camera so we can have a good look at what it looks like because this camera is too close and we're not gonna be able to see all the amazing beautifulness of what's inside this box. They wrapped it so we definitely can't see everything here, but I'm going to reveal the front side of it to you guys as I see it, as it's coming and it looks like it is oh seru yo sha look at that art that is awesome this is my favorite style of the art where they put these japanese characters with this kind of like ink explosion wow this is so cool what else is on the box here we got goku black and vegeta throwing it down holy hexagon this looks so good this looks like xeno vegeta but this cell art is awesome. I know somebody is going to be especially excited about these boxes, Butters, if you're watching this. But these boxes look great. Let's figure out what's inside these boxes and let's open it up. Here we go. And as it's been every other year, we get an area where we have packs and then some sleeves and then the cards. I'm not going to go through the brick of cards because there's going to be other content creators that are going to be releasing videos and these cards that we open are going to be a surprise as we go through them. But what I will show you guys is the sleeves. Yo, this is awesome. Dragon Ball Super Card Game 4th Anniversary sleeves. These are super cool and they're silver. God, I love silver sleeves. It's got Goku with the four star ball. Kid Goku, four star ball, fourth anniversary four star ball the fourths are excellent in japan so this is a very very exciting series to be opening and for the this is the fourth anniversary so the four star ball goku makes sense good pick awesome art this is art is not on a card but it looks fantastic now here here's where the exciting goodies are in these boxes we get one two special anniversary packs five new cards per pack and then we get reprints with four alternate reprints per pack one two three four of these packs so i think it's about time to strip them of course we're going to need to bless them the pack oh reprint pack be bless them may this best shiny reprint 
be in there. But let's shrimp them this first one here. And as we shrimp them, what are we gonna find in our first shrimp them here? And ooh, SS4 Vegeta Prismatic Burst. This is a gorgeous looking parallel foil. Wow. So it looks like it's specified black, two specified black, energy exhaust, auto one black energy. If your leader card is a black sand and there's a total of three or more energy between you and your opponent at the end of a battle in which this card was used in a combo from your hand, play this card from your drop area in rest mode, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of three or less and return it to its owner's hand. This card actually looked like a unison for some reason when I first saw it. And I know there's even a co cost on it, but the art is just so full on these things. This is insane that there's the texture foiling is brought back on this. There's an extra stamp on top of it. This is just clean. This is just an absolutely insanely gorgeous card. Uh, activate main one black energy. Send this card to its owner's warp. Choose one black multicolor battle card with an energy cost of two in your hand and play at the start of your next turn add this card to your hand from your warp huh interesting so uh maybe we'll be seeing a leader that supports this this looks like it's for black multicolor but i oh wait this is this multicolor this card almost looks like i think it's blue and black i think this is one blue and one black energy it's hard to see because it's so shiny but wow huh i guess this card is probably built to play with the new Bardock, the new starter Bardock, since it does support rainbow color. But let's get to the next card here. Yo, Sha! SS4 Bardock Prismatic Aegis. What? Energy exhaust unique barrier. If your leader card is a Bardock Xeno, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by one. So it becomes a two cost and you have to pay what looks like one red and one black. Auto. If your leader card is a Bardock Xeno card and you have a black multicolor card in your energy, other than this card when this card in your hand is played or placed in your energy choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards or unison cards it gets minus 2000 power for the turn for each color in your energy what an interesting skill we've never seen anything that negs a card when it's put in energy so this is the first time that we're seeing a skill that resolves in an en in a power neg based on putting a card in your energy that is pretty cool activate battle once per turn choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 5,000 power for the turn what a fascinating card and the art on these just looks insane i mean these look like they're on a totally different level the parallel foiling is insane the characters pop out of them so hard there's texture foiling and multiple levels of foiling this is just these cards are insanely gorgeous SS4 Sun Gohan Prismatic Aegis. So we're getting all these Prismatic Aegis cards that look like they're Bardock support for the starter Bardock deck. Energy Exhaust Double Strike Auto. If your leader card is a Bardock Xeno card and you have a black multicolor card in your energy other than this card, when this card in your hand is played or placed in your energy, choose up to one of your opponent's unison cards with three or more markers and remove a marker from it. So here we go again. This is another skill that's resolving off of placing this card in your energy area which is really interesting auto when this card is played from your hand choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of four or less and send it to its owner's warp so this card has removal when it's played it also has a skill that resolves when it's placed in your energy area which is amazing and fascinating because we really haven't seen cards that are resolving skills when they're placed in energy but i guess that's what we're gonna start seeing and the parallel foil is insane this thing's got amazing texture on it the gold foil stamp looks so good these cards are basically just all spr quality in my opinion they are so gorgeous all right ss sun goku might in the making this looks like it's a red card auto if your leader is a blue sand card when this card in your hand is placed in your drop area by a union fusion skill activate this skill at the end of the turn switch up to one of your energy to active mode activate battle once per turn choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 10,000 power for the turn this is really interesting because this is a red card and it does have a power neg skill but it also has an auto that untaps in energy and it looks like it's designed to synergize with blue so this is the first time i think we're ever seeing a red card that has a blue skill on it based on a union fusion that requires a blue sand leader so very very interesting i would love to see more of the support cards of what this is working around but a fascinating card nonetheless 
Oh, encountering the unknown. This looks like it's green. It is a Broly BR theme, so I imagine that this is a green card. Activate main battle limit one. If your leader card is a green Chilai BR or a yellow Broly BR card, choose one. Choose up to one of your opponent's skillless battle cards in rest mode and KO it. And if you KO a card, draw a card. Choose up to one yellow Broly BR card in your battle area and switch it to active mode. Very cool, very interesting card because in your battle step, you'll be able to untap a card with this, which could be pretty useful based on cards that are KOing cards in rest mode now in the game. And I really want to build green, yellow BR Broly. I think bringing the old BR Broly leader back that used to be so strong and got errated would be really awesome. And I think building green BR Broly and it would be great. So I would love to see some more support in this set and expansion around supporting that so that's our first rip them it's five cards these are all parallel foils in these expansions for the special anniversary cards and here's our next pack whoa here he is green yellow broly ss broly reckless pursuit what the heck look how good this card looks oh 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 god i gotta put on some protective eyewear whoa shy yo yo wow would you look at that look at how dang shiny that card is oh the art is insane the composition of these cards is just out of control what the heck is going on it's actually a lot easier to read these things with my loops on so here we go ss broly reckless pursuit this is a green yellow five cost card energy exhaust blocker swap eight one green and one yellow energy and this card has blocker if you have three or more energy green yellow broly br with an energy cost of eight so if you have a green yellow broly energy cost of eight you're going to be able to swap into an eight cost broly but i believe it needs to be green yellow so maybe that's in this or maybe that's a card that i'm not thinking of but this also has a rival green yellow for one green or one yellow so you can play this guy for one green or one yellow energy when this card is played or when this card is switch to active mode by a skill during your turn choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of four or less and negated skills for the turn interesting so you can negate a blocker if you were to use the broly skill to stand this guy up very cool activate main battle once per turn switch this card to rest mode choose up to one of your opponent's skillless battle cards and ko it very very cool so there are a lot of cards that are negating card skills so maybe this will be able to negate a skill and then ko something whoa 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 sha what what the heck what yo look at this card oh my this is a quad strike this is a quad strike this is a quad strike ss4 gogeta what in the hexagon is going on here what does this card do it's got a book of text on it and let's get through this auto when this card is played resolve the following effects based on the card colors in your energy area red deal one damage to your opponent blue draw three cards green your opponent opponent chooses two cards in their hand and discards them. Yellow, choose up to one of your opponent's cards and switch it to rest mode. Black, choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards and send them to their owner's warp. Activate main for five. Choose one Son Goku Xeno card and one Vegeta Xeno card in your hand or battle area. Place them in their owner's drops and play this card from your hand. This is insane. So basically, if you can get the rainbow in your energy by turn five and you play this guy for five energy, you are just reaping so much havoc on your opponent. And this guy is a 10 drop, a quad strike 10 drop that draws three cards, deals a damage, it makes them discard and switches something to rest mode. This card is insane. What? What the heck? Oh my, holy hexagon. This is outrageous. This card's absolutely outrageous. Okay, it doesn't have deflect, doesn't have barrier. So it can get counterplayed, but it's a 10 cost. So there's not a lot that hits this. And you do have to tap five for it. But the return on investment in this guy is astronomical. I am definitely playing Rainbow Bardock. There is not a question in my heart or my mind's eye that I will be tasting the rainbow with Bardock. And this guy looks amazing. This parallel foil looks out of this world. What an insane card whoa meta cooler maddening multiplication what the heck one energy yellow meta cooler i love meta cooler getting the support meta cooler tokens are just they're they're something epic all right what does this guy do one yellow energy if your leader card is a meta cooler or meta cooler core card 
and you have two or more energy and you don't have a unison card in play when this card is played from your hand choose up to one meta cooler core giant force in your hand and play it with a marker on it in rest mode limit one activate main if your leader is a meta cooler or meta cooler core card place up to two infinite multiplication meta cooler from your deck in your drop area and then shuffle your deck i don't know enough about meta cooler to know how good this is but based on how many things this does for a one energy card i'm gonna go ahead and say that this is a really good card uh gets a unison out and it's one energy and it sets up your drop area for whatever that deck does but here is our next card oh ss4 broly prismatic burst this card is so good looking wow look at this card look at that energy burst in his hand this card's insane this card looks so good and i don't even know what it does yet it is a unison card and it is ss4 broly looking very strong and handsome permanent for each marker on this card it gets 5,000 power for your turn and it's already a 10k all right limit one if this card has one marker when this card is played add a marker to it for every two multicolor cards in your energy wow so if you play this guy late game and you have four multicolored cards in your energy and you play him for one he's going to come out with three which is pretty wild all right he's got a minus one now his minus one activate main is choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost greater than its current energy and send it to its warp that's a great removal that's a really really useful removal a minus x auto this looks interesting when your leader card is attacked you may have it get plus five thousand power for the battle for each marker you removed from this card with this skill wow so this guy basically can just defend your leader for a big swing if you have a bunch of markers on it you can just minus a bunch of markers and protect your leader but it doesn't have something that adds markers to it it only has minus effects which may end up hurting it but i guess the way that you get the extra markers is by playing it for maybe for a higher energy and then resolving the auto limit one that allows you to put more markers in it based on what's in your energy very very interesting the the use of energy as we're moving forward into getting these starter decks and the rainbow bardock starter deck and our last card here is whoa broly sand instinct i love this moment this is the definition of the clap back in a card look at this man just coming in and smacking vegeta right in the face wow unique permanent if your leader card is a green shenron card when activating this card's activate main skill on a green extra card with desire and an energy cost less than or equal to your current energy from your hand you may place this card at the bottom of its owner's deck if you do reduce the activation cost of the extra cards activate main skill by one wow that is a lot of text and i don't know much about the shenron archetype i think that's chili when this card is played place up to two cards with dragon ball from your deck or your drop area then shuffle your deck if you place a card in your drop area using this card draw one card interesting so this gets your draw your dragon balls in your drop area and it sets up for you to be essentially awaken faster so this is definitely designed for chili um and i would be interested to see what it does there but interesting card echo jita card's insane all right let's get into these reprints we got three reprint packs here now let's strip them this pack we should have some non-foils in here and the last one should be foil i believe so here we have oh this is the prince strikes back okay so these are reprints so we're getting a reprint of prince strikes back super combo which is super necessary because this card is used so much it's way too expensive and the parallel foils on this are definitely going to look completely awesome i love this art style this is very very cool very japanese very very awesome it's got uh references to the fude art style with these heavy brush strokes and just really really cool stuff we're seeing here meta cooler terrifying horde so this was the unison that was released and was like 300 dollars when it got released so i'm glad they're reprinting it uh, this was from a championship pack and Raditz saying, you are all the super combos getting reprints in this Fude art style? That would be so rad. I would love to see that. But this is a great looking super combo. Definitely going to be running these over the normal ones if I get my place out to the colors. And Goku Black Unforeseen Darkness gets another reprint. 
Wow, okay, so we saw a reprint of this card in the collector's selection, and now we're seeing another reprint of it. So I think multicolor is on its way back, and this might be signifying that we're gonna be seeing more multicolor. But look how cool this parallel foil is with the gold stamp on top of the texture. This is this is absolutely gorgeous. And normally when they do special anniversary boxes, they'll do four different art styles for the reprint. So maybe this is one of the art styles, and I absolutely love this style, the composition, the way you can see that deep purple in his key and the aura around him and the way that the energy ball shines all that texturing just looks so insanely cool what a gorgeous gorgeous piece of cardboard all right let's get into the next reprint pack here i would love to pull some of this krillin super combos if that's going to be the case because i'm definitely running some yellow for this set Ooh, dark power black mass sand gets a reprint good looking card i like the art style on this they did something similar as last year where they had the character with the characters behind them Furthering Destruction Chompa. Okay, Chompa finally gets a reprint. I know Chompa, people wanted a Chompa reprint and they were talking about a Chompa reprint and then it got scratched, but it's coming back and this looks like this is gonna be one of the art styles as well here. Great Sandman, Vanquisher of Villainy. So this super combo looks like it's in a little bit of a different style than the other super combos, but this is the bottom deck one draw two super combo, which we saw with the other two. So I imagine that we're also gonna see Krillin and Vegeta. And yo, Demon God Demigra, True Power Unleashed. This is awesome that this card got a reprint and this looks nuts. Yo, this card looks crazy. Holy hexagon, look at those texture foilings, the gold stamp, the perspective on this dude, the composition of these cards is insane. The Dragon Ball Super Card Game team just keeps stepping it up and this card needed a reprint so badly because it was getting way too overpriced. And it's a good card. It's a good card that's good in a lot of black decks. It's essentially a black staple at this point. So the fact that there's gonna be a reprint staple available in non-foil is gonna make the paywall come down a lot more for players that wanna play black. But what a gorgeous looking card. This card looks so rad. Wow. All right, next pack here to shrip them and what do we got in this pack it is ss3 gogeta super warrior evolution so this is the dual attack three drop unison this is really exciting to see this because he's really good in soul striker he's great to set up the skillless chain with the 10 drop gohan from supreme rivalry really really great unison so it's cool to see a reprint of this and i would love to see this in foil dual attack and the cheeky thing about this guy is when he's out and you have one of your skillless in rest mode somebody tries to swing at your leader they can't deal damage to them so you're like whoops sorry read the card pal all right hatchiak hatred everlasting so this gets another reprint this had a reprint in championship packs and i don't think that we've seen another one since the promo was printed so it's really great that we have this because hatchiak will definitely see some play i think in the future yamcha the lawless if your leader is a red earthling at the end of your turn draw a card this was the promo card in the set 10 tournament pack this is going to look great in parallel foil all these cards are going to look great in parallel foil really really good and you can tap two and give this guy 15k and double strikes a really great body on board really helps the draw with yamcha and you, everybody loves yamcha decks who doesn't love a good yamcha deck deck yo hit deadly vanguard very cool this was from the draft box so this got a really nice reprint i love the oh whoa yo what is going on on this card what the heck there's like this weird crazy dot texture foiling that looks like this guy is traveling through some dimension of space he has effectively frozen time and he's moving through it do you guys see that that's insane what oh my oh my hexagon this is so wild Oh, a really good card too. It is a little pricey to pay three for it, but within baby, you can reduce the cost by one. So it is just a really, really good card. And sometimes you do just want to have this in the sideboard and side it in. So really nice that we got this reprint of this. This looks way cooler than the original one. And of course, finally, our bless in the pack here. This is the alternate art reprints of your favorite cards. Vault Power Up Pack 2021, our last shrip them here for the special anniversary box. And here we go. This is the non-foil of the Goku Black Unforeseen Darkness. Great looking just in the non-foil also. These non-foils look really good as well. There's the Hit Deadly Vanguard, so you can see the non-foil of that. And Great Ape Sand Instincts gets another reprint. Just climbing over. What is he climbing? Oh, he's climbing over the World Martial Arts Tournament building. Very, very cool. This is awesome. So we have a bunch of these cards now. It's way more accessible. It's going to be much easier to play this card because a lot of decks do need to play this card. And our parallel foil is... 
Oh, Paragus the Sacrifice. This guy has not had a reprint, and this is definitely necessary. In King Cold, this guy's really useful, and maybe we'll see more use out of him in some Broly BR stuff that comes back, but this is a very good looking reprint. Wow. Oh my. Anyway, guys, that's been the Shrip'em. Thank you, Bandai, so much for this opportunity. I'm so excited to see the other content creator videos. We're going to have Senzu Pop, Frank Castle, and UniX DBS opening boxes of this special anniversary box so we'll get to see all four arts this is super exciting stuff guys i hope you're as excited about this as i am these cards look absolutely beautiful <laughs> this card's just insane this card is so nuts it's gonna make playing xeno bardock so much fun and i can't wait to play it if this is your guys first time here and you enjoyed this video make sure to smush that subscription button if you're a returning member of the joe crew this is such an insane opportunity thank you guys for your support throughout this i hope you all enjoyed seeing these cards as much as i did for the first time because this was awesome seeing this stuff. And I am a dentist. I can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip to you would be if you guys like to eat candy or drink soda, a really good rule of thumb to get you from point A to point B throughout your day. After you eat some candy or after you drink soda, get a mouthful of water and swish that water around for 30 to 60 seconds. Count it. Swish as vigorously as you can. Drink the water, spit it out. Doesn't matter, but sugar is water soluble. And that's not a replacement for brushing your teeth. You still got to brush and floss, but right after you eat some candy, right after you drink something sugary, getting some water in your mouth and swishing that water around can really help reduce the sugar load in your mouth and reduce the bacterial activity for causing dental decay or caries and keep your teeth healthier for a longer period of time. I am Joku DMD and I will see you guys next time. Okay, hold up. I almost seriously messed up this video because I just started looking at this box and I didn't even show all the art on this beautiful box. And we gotta take a minute to appreciate this because this is gorgeous. So it has Cell on the front, which I showed you guys. And I showed you Vegeta. And I showed you the Goku Black here. But it also has art from the last special anniversary box. It has the Gohan, Goku, and Goten art from the reprint of that card. And it has the UI Goku, Unstoppable Goku art on the back, which this is my favorite reprint card of all time. So maybe this was a little special shout out to me because... And I might know how much I love this art, but this is amazing that this is on the box. I am so hyped about it. I just caught it and I realized I didn't even say anything in my video about it. So I deeply apologize for not showing off all of the beautiful art. I was just so excited to get inside the box and see what the cards were, but the box is so beautiful and this will definitely be on display as much as possible. So I can look at it from as many different angles as possible. I love this card. It is right here, always on display because I think it is the coolest art in this game for reprints. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry about not showing that off before, but I hope you get to enjoy this beautiful art here now. Yo-ho-ho-sha. -ho